The Atlantic Rim area of Wyoming borders the western base of the Sierra Madre Mountains and includes the eastern edge of the Great Divide Basin. Muddy Creek and its tributaries traverse the region, flowing across valley floors and past steep-sided canyons. The area's seasonal streams and dense sagebrush created daunting challenges for emigrants seeking shorter routes across southern Wyoming. They're always looking for cutoffs. Oh, maybe we can go this way, it'll be faster. Sometimes they find they end up at a cliff or something. You know, it isn't faster. But they're always looking for cutoffs, which also accounts for why there is more than one Cherokee Trail in, in Wyoming. Prior to the gold rush and the creation of the Cherokee Trail, emigrants traveling across Wyoming on the Oregon-California Trail often employed mountain men as their guides. These mountain men could guide them along these routes so that they could have a route that had plentiful water, plentiful grass, wood, all the necessities that an immigrant would need to survive himself and to keep his draft animals alive. You weren't going to get very far if your horses, your mules, your oxen ran out of water and grass and starved. In addition to using mountain men as guides, emigrants followed the advice of John C. Fremont, who led expeditions across the Rocky Mountain region. His guidebook recommended routes and offered advice about the region's many challenges. By the 1849 gold rush, a number of routes to California were available. Thousands of emigrants traveled the Oregon-California Trail across the Plain States and Wyoming. A more southerly route, the Butterfield Stage Route, crossed Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, and Southern California. Another option was travel by sea. One sea route left New York and sailed to Panama, where passengers hiked across the jungles, then boarded another ship to San Francisco. Travelers could also take clipper ships around Cape Horn and the tip of South America. In terms of speed, they were pretty much the same. The fastest clipper ship voyage from New York to San Francisco was 89 days. The trip across the Oregon Trail would also take about three months or so. So it was, uh, you had a variety of routes you could take. It would depend on which way you would prefer to go and generally how much money you had to spend. 